Hey, mountain friends. Howdy, everybody. Let's check my butter. A little bit more. My melted butter. Let me get my spoon. Hey, everybody. We're back. We traveled yesterday down to Whitesburg, and I'll be talking more about that here in a little bit. We went. I'm trying to find my big spoon. My small spoon. And my spoon. It's probably over here. Hey, mountain friends. Yeah, we traveled. Yes, Saturday all weekend. We were so busy. We went shopping at Costco. Uh, we had some Sam's at yeah, Sam's. <laughs> we had uh, our church donated and some other people donated and we went and bought a bunch of supplies, spent the weekend Saturday while well, we celebrated daddy's birthday. My daddy returned 80 years old yesterday and we went shopping and got some supplies and we left Yesterday afternoon, we couldn't leave early because of things and went to Whitesburg and took some supplies to some flood victims that are in our hometown, Southeast Kentucky. Uh, like I said, I'll be talking about that here in a little bit. But I wanted to do some strawberry dumplings. Y'all like strawberry dumplings? If you've ever had them, let me know. And, um, these are fresh strawberry dumplings. Hey, everybody. So, everybody, say howdy to us. Kenzie is videoing. Hi, hey, y'all. All right. So, we'll go ahead and just let you know what I got going on here. Um, there was about two cups of fresh strawberries in my cooker here, in my little pan. And I put in two cups of water and a cup of sugar. And it's been boiling for about 10 minutes, and that's all. And when you make dumplings of any kind, this is really simple. Um, you can make dumplings out of any kind of fruit. Peach, apple, strawberry, blackberry. I grew up having blackberry dumplings, and they're, they're probably still my favorite. But I love strawberry ones, too. Yeah, Linda and says, I love them. I'm from Kentucky. Oh, well. Strawberry dumplings. Strawberry rhubarb dumplings. Uh, Mommy and them used to make them. Strawberry rhubarb. But I'm not a fan of rhubarb. I hate rhubarb. I only like, like it raw. With some salt. Do y'all like it raw too? If you do, with, do you like it with salt or sugar by itself? I like it with salt. salt. But I like it with sugar too. But we're going to make the dumplings. So we're going to let that just boil right quick. Just keep doing its thing. And y'all, there's not a big, it's not a big kadu when it comes to this recipe, I reckon. <laughs> it's not really fancy at all. So you're gonna need about a cup of self-rising flour. Flour. Oh, Vonda says she likes strawberry cobbler. Oh, I do like strawberry I've never cobbler. heard that, but that sounds well, really good. Well, this is similar. It's a quicker version, kind of a lazy, lazy girl's version of cobbler. And it's quicker than having to wait for a cobbler to bake. But it still has about the same taste, okay? So there's about a cup of self-rising flour and about a half a stick of melted butter right in your dough and i'm going to do a little bit of whole milk this is whole milk just a little probably maybe a half a cup or so i don't want my dough really thin hi christy um let's see christy so, most people are saying uh cook mm. Cook. Hey, Christy. Most people are saying they've never had the strawberry ones, but they've had more. blackberry. All right. So I might have put in maybe a half a cup of milk at the most. They haven't had strawberry ones. Yeah. Mm. I had. They. I haven't made these. I don't make these a lot. I do. We love strawberries. Um. I did a video not too long ago. I made strawberry syrup, and we did like a uh, for like shortcake. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stir that up like this. So you want your dough kind of thick, 
<clears throat> like that right there. Kind of thick a little bit. See, about that consistency. Let me get me another spoon. So that's just butter and flour? But, okay, this was about a cup of stuffed rice and flour. Oh, and milk. Half a stick of melted butter and about half a cup of milk, just enough to make your dough where it's like that right there, kind of thick. And I'm going to put me a little bit more flour on top because I'm just going to pinch these up. A little bit more flour on the top. Heather said she made a strawberry cheesecake cobbler this weekend. That sounds Ooh. really good. Oh, yeah, that is good with cream cheese in it. It's good. So all you're going to do is just flour your hands a little bit. This is not hard at all. And you're going to make these kind of bite-sized little dumplings, fluffy dumplings. Drop them right in. Drop them. I am a fan of drop dumplings any Mm -hmm. Just about any kind of form. When I make chicken and dumplings, I make drop dumplings. Now, I make mine a little different. Uh, for chicken and dumplings, I use buttermilk and use the melted lard. You see, you're going to drop these right in. Do bite-sized little dumplings. Oh, so Kathleen says, hi from Ohio. I've never had strawberry dumplings, but I will definitely make this. Thank you to you and your church for all the supplies, um, for all the people in Eastern Kentucky. That's where I was born and raised. Your stories about growing up remind me so much of my childhood. Love your videos and your recipes. I've tried a lot of them. Her name is Kathleen. Well, oh, thanks, Kathleen. Y'all, I have a little story when I get done, y'all. I'm kind of heartbroken. I'm very heartbroken, actually. We saw some things yesterday that will never go out of my head. And I'm really heartbroken. My 10 yard holler, the holler I was raised in, is the road going up to it. We can't get in it. And I don't know how long it'll be. Because of the devastation throughout the whole county, I don't know how long it'll be before we can ever get up in there. We, we could probably walk, I know we could walk, but uh, it just breaks my heart. Let me wipe this off. Yeah, I'm just, this is a small batch, so this is not like a big batch. And you want to keep, you want to keep flour onto your little dumplings so your uh, juice will thicken up. So they won't be watery. You don't want watery dumplings. You want them kindly thick. And just, I, know, I always tell y'all about a rule we have. You don't stir don't dumplings. Don't stir dumplings or you'll have a Chicken mess. dumplings, you'll have a big old, if you stir dumplings, you just have a big pot of, You'll, be, you'll have a pot of strawberry gravy. <laughs> you. You will. Let me get my rest of them out. So, yeah, I'm heartbroken, y'all. We, we're just, I kind of just feel like it's a dream. Three of my family members lost their house. And um, a couple of my family members lost their vehicles. And... I'm telling you, just it's heartbroken. It's heartbreaking for sure. But, but the worst part is though, like our family had it better than most. Yeah. A lot of people have Oh yeah. Yeah. I our mean, family, you know, they're it's yeah. So looky there. That's done. See these were quick. This is a quick little dessert. You could do like right at supper time and they can be done in a jiffy and now you do have to let them thicken up a little bit and they will and it only it's only going to take just about five or so minutes if they'll they're going to cook they're going to be little fluffy fellers <laughs> and they're going to be really good let me just move them out just a little and when I take these off in just a few seconds, I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer. So you take your juice up and just see you're going to, it's going to, it's a syrup. And this is, the syrup is going to be, y'all, this is so good over ice cream, with ice cream. Cream, like real cream. Mommy and them, uh, mommy and them always pour cream over their blackberry dumplings. And you can do the same thing with these. They used, their version of cream was always evaporated milk. We didn't have a lot of heavy cream. 
cow cream. What they call it? Um, so Darlene says, Missy, I made your egg rolls in a bowl, and I did add green pork, uh, ground pork ground and pork. green onion, and then one cup of rice, and she said her husband loved it. I'm telling you, I'm making them again. They, them are delicious. That was so good. And very, they're actually healthy for you. Now look at them dumplings. Ain't they pretty? Um, All right, here. so Linda just got on, and she wants to know what these are. These so, are strawberry dumplings. Do a recap. We're going to do a recap. While they're doing their little thing. We turn them down just a smidge. All right, so I started out with about two cups of sliced, cleaned, fresh strawberries, two cups of water, and a cup of sugar. And I brought it to a boil and let it boil about 10 minutes for the strawberries to break down. And then I did a cup of self-rising flour. Uh, I did a half a stick of melted butter for my dumplings, that is, and about half a cup of milk enough to make my dough stiff to where I could roll out my dough and drop it in there. That was my dumplings. That's it. So you can always go back and rewatch it and see yeah. it step by step if you missed the beginning. Yes, you can always go back. Um, and then someone earlier, I lost it and I didn't get to see their name, but they wanted to know how to make apple dumplings. They said their mamma used to make them and they can't yeah. get them quite right. Now, our version of dumplings, some people make dumplings, they wrap them in like a pastry and put them in the oven and bake them and then put like a sauce over them and they call that dumplings. But you can do apple dumplings like this. Uh, if you just, you can basically do about the same ratio of measurement that I did. I did two cups of fresh strawberries. You could do this with peaches, two cups. You could do this with any good cooking apple, two cups like Granny Smith or something. Um, would still work. Does that make sense? But these are fresh. This is fresh fruit. Not, I mean, I didn't use canned, of course. Uh, if you are going to do these, that fresh fruit is best, I think. I'm just getting my syrup over my dumplings. All right, let's see how cool this is. So Kelly from Maine says they make something similar with blueberries and call it blueberry slump up there. Oh, I love names like I that. I know, that's so interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, you could do blueberries too. I forgot about that. Yeah, most people are saying they do Now, I grew up, we made these mostly with blackberries. We did strawberries. Well, we didn't have a lot of strawberries growing up, but plenty of blackberries. We did have plenty of blackberries growing up. We went picking them every summer, and we'd always put them in the freezer. So, even in the winter time, usually for Christmas and stuff, we'd have a kiddo of blackberry dumplings. That's what you had. You usually had blackberry dumplings for dessert. And banana pudding. Now, oh my it. goodness. Or some kind of chocolate yeah. pie. If y'all seen my chocolate pie recipe the other day, usually a chocolate pie, a banana pudding, blackberry dumplings, or butterscotch pie. Or that's mostly the kind of desserts that we had growing up. Man, uh, banana pudding yeah. is one of my favorites. And so oh, look at here. These are about done. Mary said, I made your coal miner's cake several times. My family absolutely loves it. Love your recipes. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. That coal miner's cake is good. Yeah, it is good. And then uh, Jackie wants to know, other than buttermilk, is this your dumplings for chicken and dumplings? Uh, other, similar, but I do melted lard and not butter. So yes, it is. Uh, my, my dumplings for chicken and dumplings is self-rising flour, melted lard, and buttermilk. Yeah. Dumplings for cobbler, uh, like like strawberry or blackberry uh, dumplings, is melted butter and whole milk, sweet milk. We call it sweet milk where I where I'm from, because we use so much. We cooked with so much buttermilk, and my dad actually drank buttermilk. Yeah, gross. Yeah, I don't drink it, but I do love to cook with it. <clears throat> that we had buttermilk and we had sweet milk, and that's the kind of milk you that you. And the milk in a evaporated milk in a can was called cream. Um, so if you use blackberries, you also do the do two cups of blackberries, like two yeah. cups of strawberries. Any kind of fresh fruit, the same ratio. Thank you, Linda, for sharing. Yeah, you guys are right. All right, these are fat. Yeah. So Gail says, "Love your recipes and love watching you." Thank y'all. Y'all, can you believe I'll be almost to two hundred thousand? I can't hardly believe it, and I am just so tickled. I love. Love you guys. Love everybody. These Thank you, Linda, for sharing. All right. Um, Iris says hi from North Carolina. I have so many comments, y'all. I'm sorry. They're all just keep, like, <laughs> refreshing. Uh, yes, Paula, we are in Kentucky. 
yeah, if y'all just follow me, I am a Kentucky girl. My name is Missy Jones. My family, Mackenzie, is usually our videographer girly. And my husband, Roger, usually helps out. We cook, I cook all kinds of food, but mostly in my mountain culture, but we cook on the grills, we cook outside. <laughs> You may find you may see us cook a little bit of everything because we like to cook, but we make it a family affair. But it's Mountain Cooking with Missy's my name because I am from the mountains of Southeast Kentucky. It's where I was born and raised. I still live in Kentucky, but I don't live in Southeast Kentucky anymore. We moved there about 15 years ago, but that is where I was born and raised up until I was about 40 years old, y'all. So it's where I was born and raised, and so you're gonna get a little bit of everything when you watch us, but. Our roots are Kentucky roots. Now, I'm doing some strawberry extract. Now, if you're doing blackberry dumplings or any peach or anything, you don't have to put any extracts in. But I like to put a little bit of strawberry extract when I make strawberry dumplings or strawberry anything uh, because it just gives it a little extra flavor, uh, gives it more of that strawberry taste. So April says, how do you know when the dumplings are done? I always get mine too overdone. Um. I don't know. I've just done it so much. About a teaspoon of strawberry extract. Um, well, I don't really know. They kind of swell up a little bit. Yeah. What do you mean by overdone? Like, to me, when these get done, they're done. When they sit now, they can get a little soggy. If you don't keep them a rolling bowl, they can get a little doughy in the middle. Let me get some out. Um, so Pat wants to know if you could use monk fruit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'd say that'd be a You pretty... can make these with monk fruit. Yep, you Let's could. Let's see. Um, so, Missy wants to know if chicken and dumplings are rolled out, the dough. Um, you can make chicken dumplings two different ways. You can make them fluffy. We, we make them fluffy most of the time. My husband only likes them fluffy. I grew up eating them fluffy, but I grew up eating them... Uh, the other way too, because I had some great aunts that would roll them out and make them flat. I need to do a flat, flat yeah, dumpling video. I, agree. I haven't done a flat dumpling video in a while, but I've done several dumpling videos where I make them fluffy. I have done a flat one. It's been a while, but um, so it just depends on where you're from, what your liking is. If you like them, where's my mommy's big spoon? At? I don't where's know. I can't find it. Right, here it so Betty says my mother used to make sweet potato sunker. Which started out like what you're doing now. Sweet potato? Sweet potato, S-O-N-K-E-R. I love sweet potato. Sunker? Oh. Um, and then Elaine asked, how long do you cook these? The dumplings for usually. Oh, oh man, it don't take long. They cook fast. Oh uh, my, let's see, maybe five, 10 minutes. Once they started, once I got them all in there. Um, and then. So look y'all. Oh yeah. They kind of look like little brains. Little <laughs> brains. <laughs> So, Mary said, I made your cabbage slaw and used ground pork and loved it. She said she's oh, been the... praying for Kentucky from Florida. Thank you, guys. See? You just put your dumplings in. You want to spoon some of that strawberry yeah. goodness right over them. Linda says, I just threw out strawberries this morning because I forgot to do something with them. Um... Well, now you know. If you ever have two ripe strawberries, there you go. Yeah. Put your little dumplings right in there. Um, Laverne wants to know if you have a recipe for caramel pie. No, I don't. But that I sounds good, so you should look I into that. I haven't really made a caramel pie. Y'all look. We're going to taste them. We're going to take a bite. Let's see. I'm trying to turn around. So Stella says, oh my gosh, I can't imagine eating hot cooked strawberries. My mom used to make strawberry cobbler and I could not eat it. That is so funny. Oh, really? I love hot strawberries like that. They're so good. Yeah. I mean, it was somehow they look when you cut into them. Turn around. Um, like, show them like the fluffiness. Oh, okay. Wait, really quick. There's a comment. Pamela said, "What's the best way to help the flood victims?" All right, we're gonna talk about that. Okay. I just all don't right. want to lose all these comments. Turn this over. See, see when I cut it into what they look like. See, they're fluffy on the inside. I mean, it's, to me though, what's the difference in eating the strawberries like this and eating blackberries? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let this cool off so I can get a bite, but I'm going to take a bite. Don't get me a bite, y'all. Yeah, it's really good with ice cream. Mm. Yeah, we call them, mom calls them drop dumplings. Drop dumplings. Think Fluffy that's dumplings. It's a Kentucky thing, too. Mm. There's so many comments. I'm losing them. I'm sorry, you guys. 
Oh man. Oh girly. Kenzie, these are delicious. Y'all, these are good. Yum, 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 yum. You can put some cream in them. A dollop of cream. Uh, be good with a big old scoop of ice cream. One more bite. <laughs> so good. Yeah, babe. So what are you going to do with those blackberries over there in the corner? We're going to eat them. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were cooking up a recipe or something. Um, We're going to eat them. Y'all, these strawberry dumplings are good. Eli, want some of them? Oh, yeah. Let him try them. Let Eli eat some dumplings. All right. All right. So, y'all, I know y'all been wanting to help with the flood victims, and we're going to talk about that. Um, you can 